stay on here too long today, but I just want to put some stuff in the air real quick. So, uh, as human beings, I think we forget how important it is to understand that our life don't really matter. It's about the next generation. And I think the word me and the word what about me and like phrases like what about me stuff like that is the reason why the earth is fucked up so sometimes I sit back and I think about all the shit like our parents could have done when they was younger but they were too focused on like not necessarily them but they thought they were focused on us but it was more for them right like furniture like when family members would be like we need new furniture and in all actuality we don't need new furniture because you know like back in the 90s like parents was cashing out on furniture like furniture was a big thing in the 90s right like it was a big thing like parents was cashing out nigga what $2,500 on the furniture set leather couches and shit right like, parent, like, we talking about hood shit, right? Like, this L.A. shit or this, like, hood shit. Like, parents get their tax, income tax. You know she got about five kids. So she get her income tax. She getting about 7000 back. All of that's going on. House appliances and all type of stupid shit, right? So what I started to think about, when I was younger, I used to think going to Hawaii was impossible. Right? When I was younger, I'm talking about like when I was like eight or nine years old, I used to be like, it costs a hundred billion dollars to fly to Hawaii. That's not possible. Like this is this is just a child growing up in the urban community with that type of mentality. Like I literally used to tell myself, it, it must cost a billion dollars to fly to Hawaii. Like it, it has to, right? Like it, ha it has to cost. Cause like, like the thought of flying to Hawaii was literally like a mission impossible. Like nigga, you know how people like, dang, I just want a Hawaiian vacation. Like nigga, that shit was a mission impossible coming up. Why? Because our parents, they didn't, this is, you know, you lucky to have a, a father like me because I understand these things and I don't want to continue the cycle that our parents did for us, right? So I'm going to make sure that you are able to see this world and I'm going to use my money to make sure you see this world. You 10 years old. Well, you 8 years old, right? Mm -hmm. You're about to be 9 years old. You've been to Alaska. You've been all type of places. Hawaii, all type of places. You've been places that some of these people ain't going to never go. So you got to be grateful for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right? I love you, big man. But look. I miss Alaska. But, right? So I be thinking about this, like, all right, my nigga, I'm, I'm 30 plus years old, right? I lived with my parents until I was 20. Like I ain't move out of my house. I ain't leave the bird's nest till I was 20, right? So now I start calculating. I'm like, damn, my mom got income tax. My, my parents got income tax for 20 years straight. Every year they got at least, least $7,000 bag every year, right? My nigga, it only costs like 300 to fly to Hawaii. Hawaii really ain't expensive. That shit ain't like another country. Like when I was little, I thought Hawaii was another country. When I was young, I thought Hawaii was like, nigga, like you got to, like that shit might have been on another planet. Bro, it's only 300. From California to Hawaii, it's only 300. 200 if you book it early enough. 200. Bro, this whole time, our parents really didn't know all it took was 300 to 400 dollars to change the children's perspective of life 
Do you understand how how important? When I be at the airport and I see all these white families and all these Chinese families just flying around the world, like, because when I first start flying, I ain't really start flying until I was like 20 something to battle rap start popping, popping. And I start flying, getting booked around the world, right? And when I be in the airport, I be like, dang, these families be flying everywhere, right? But when I first started getting booked, I still wasn't knowing how much tickets cost. So I was just thinking, maybe these niggas just rich. Nah. You don't got to be rich to just fly places. Nigga, it's cheap. Like, nigga, you could book a flight to Las Vegas. You could book a flight to Arizona. You, these flights be like $100. $105. The, bro, look. The fucked up part about it is, like, our parents, they really, like, I know they probably regret some of the shit they did in their lives, but they really, really, like, they really, really, like, like, stamped our mentality with, like, not leaving, like, the, like, not seeing the world. Like, look, bro, and this ties into why hood niggas and everybody in the hood has these mentalities. It's because they don't see nothing. Shouts out to my man Gutter from Hunters, A2I Gutter. Gutter's entire perspective about life is changing now that he is out of the hood. This is the thing. If you can get these kids to see the, in the different part of the world, you get to look at your surroundings from the outside in, and your entire mentality would change. This is why other kids are so successful. This is why other races has a gigantic leap on the black community. This is why a lot of people perceive shit different. Because they traveling, you see in the world, your memory card is expanding. Your mentality is expanding. Your mind is expanding. Like your language is expanding. Your communication skills with people you don't even know is expanding. The way you have to carry yourself is expanding. Like it's a lot of things that come with traveling the world. and. When you really think about growing up in the urban community, you got some people that ain't never jumped on a plane. Like, how? Right? You got you got people in the hood. This, let me show y'all how fucked up this mentality is, right? You got people in the hood that be like, I ain't getting on no plane, they might crash. I'm scared of planes. Bitch, you live in a ghetto where people get shot every day and you scared of an airplane? Like, what? Your house is yellow taped off and you scared of an airplane? Like, people die in your neighborhood every day and you got the audacity to say you scared of an airplane. No, they're not dumb, is it? It's not that they're dumb. They've been psychologically programmed to have these mentalities, and they don't even know it. So they're not necessarily dumb, is it? You can't fault them and say they're dumb. They've just been programmed, right? Come on. Hold on, I gotta get my charge. Hey, slow down, wait for me. Right? Right? Nah, he most, my son be wildin', dog. You know what my son told me one day? He, bro, he said some of the wildest shit. I'm like, yo, son. So I'm like, I'm a superhero. I'm really trying to save the world. You know what nigga said? He said? Fuck them all. Let them die. It's about us. What you mean, son? You tripping. The dad, they're never going to get it anyway. You keep trying, but they're never going to get it. I was like, but I got to keep trying, son. Somebody got to keep trying. It's like, you're wasting energy. He's playing Fortnite. You're wasting energy and time, dad. They're never going to get it.
nigga hit me with it. They don't possess the mentality or the mental capability or capacity to understand half the things you say, Dad. I'm just looking at him like, what? No, never mind. Back to Fortnite. Oh, man, I must have looked at him like, what the fuck am I creating? Hey, my God. They got you in prison? It's over. Right? Uh, my son. My son is like the other side of me. Like, like when I be doing stuff and I be trying stuff, he like my secret conscience that will always tell me the truth even when I don't want to believe the truth. It's not that many people here though. Right right now, so it might fill up. Alright, good, right? Basketball? Yeah, basketball. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, see you later, Zay. Alright. He like the other side of me. Like, whenever I got an idea about some shit and I know it ain't gonna work, he'll literally come tell me exactly why it's not gonna work, bro. like that you shouldn't do that you're just gonna waste maximum time and i'll be like yo son shut up man i'm trying to finish this shit he'd be like no dad like listen to what i'm saying and then i'll fuck around and do the shit and it don't work and i'll be like god fucking damn oh yeah i'm about to get these buckets in Oh, I'm, my guy Keenan Allen in the building. Let's go, Key. Work. Hey. Yo, niggas be like, yo, you don't be playing with nobody. Nigga, I be playing with professional niggas every day. Bro. Just because I don't upload half the shit don't mean nothing, nigga. I play with professional players every day. Like, if I wasn't a rapper, like, I'd really be a basketball player. Like, I'd, I'd be in the league. league. But no, right? So going back to what I was saying, like, it's just the small things, like, right? So going back to what I was saying, like, it's the small things, right? So, like, I've learned that traveling, right? I learned, I've learned that traveling, like, just getting out of your comfort zone will literally open up your mind to an entire new reality or perspective. So, another thing that comes into traveling where people act like they, want, they don't want to travel is, well, if I get there, because here's, here's the three things. The first thing is I'm scared of planes, right? That's the first layer, layer of the second layer is, well, if I get there, I don't know nobody, so I'm not going to go because I don't know nobody. That's the second layer, right? And then the third layer is, well, what am I going to do when I get there? Whatever, bro. So those are the three layers of it. But look, bro, like, if you got an extra $500, right? If you got an extra $500, bro, this goes to anybody. Like, if you got some... Tax returns, or you got an extra check or something, you got an extra 500. Bro, look, book a flight somewhere, bro. Fuck, fuck some video games, fuck, fuck some new shoes, fuck a new outfit, fuck that. Bro, book a flight somewhere, bro. It don't matter if you know anybody, it don't matter if you, it don't matter if you friends with somebody, it don't matter if you know anybody out there, bro. 
just book a flight and get off the airplane and figure it out, my nigga. You got a smartphone. You could GPS wherever you need to go. You get online, type in, what's the best food spots in Atlanta? Oh, what's the best, yo, what's the best parks in New York? Or stuff like that, bro. You got a smartphone. So, like, bro, you got 500, bro. Book a round trip somewhere, bro, and book a fucking Airbnb. Like, you ain't got to get a hotel no more. You get an Airbnb for, like, nigga, $100 a couple of nights. It might be some bullshit. $100 a couple of nights, bro, and go see some. And then when you get out there and you get to another country or another place or another state, don't be afraid to talk to people. Uh, we're trying to get that meeting tomorrow. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Like, you don't you don't have to be afraid to actually talk to people. Like, you get off the plane and be like, hey, man, you know, I'm not from out here. Yo, hey, man, what's up? Yo, what's what's popping tonight? You know, any clubs, any whatever. Whatever you into, bro, you get off the airplane, you make conversation, find your... Bro, I didn't met... Let me tell you something, bro. And let me tell you how conversation goes a long way. I didn't met individuals that approached me with the right words. And before you know it, nigga was in the studio, me, absolute the same night. The same night. Right? The literally the same night. What's good, nigga? The same night, bro, like I didn't met select I didn't met people on the street. Like, yo, what's up, daylight man? I just wanna let you know, like, like yo, bro, I really fuck with you, man. Like, yo. That's all I wanna say. I'd be like, nigga, they be like, Where what you got up? I'm like, nigga, I'm going to the studio. They be like, oh shit. You go into the studio, I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, uh, could I come? And I'd be like, yeah. Like, why not? <laughs> niggas, niggas that I don't even know, niggas be in the studio like, oh my God, I can't believe this shit. I'm in the fucking studio with Daylight and Kendrick Lamar. Fuck. And I'd be like, yo, bro, chill. You cool now. You ain't a fan no more. You officially lit. Then I'd be having to help them take their pictures for the gram and shit. So I'd be giving them pointers. I'd be like, look, don't rule number one. What's up? Rule number one. When you in the studio with famous niggas, don't never take a selfie. That's rule number one. Because you automatically discredit yourself as a nigga that belong there. Right? So rule number one, when you in the studio with more famous people... Don't ever take a, you feel me, a selfie selfie. You gotta tell, you gotta, you gotta slide your phone to somebody else and tell them to take the picture. You feel me? Am I on or no? Yeah. Am I on? If I'm on, I'm on, right? Let's get it. I'm out of here, yo.